All right, everybody. How y'all doing today? It's your boy Corelli. I'm about to have a nice little talk. This is my intro to my very own YouTube page that I was thinking about starting up for myself moving forward. One of the main things nobody ever wants to talk about to you guys is financial education. I'm pretty sure if you go to went to any school around this country, unless you went to a private school or something, the only thing about finance is you really learn was in personal finance. Everybody can agree. Personal finance is nothing but a way of teaching you how to use your money in the system in which they want you to use, such as save your money, put it into mutual funds, get a 401k, work your job, work hard all your life, which is nothing wrong with it. It's typical, honestly, if you ask me. But to be honest, who wants to do that all their life? Most people want to, you know, chase the bag become millionaires, if not millionaires, hundreds of thousandaires, however it is you want to look at it and whatever it is you want to measure your success with, that's what it is that you're going to measure everything out with your life. But moving forward, I'm just going to have, go ahead and have like a brief little intro to what it is that we'll be talking about. Like I said, this video is not going to be heavily on the information. It's just a skim through because this information is very, very hectic. It is very life changing if you take it seriously. And this is pretty much my growth that I'm trying to go through and I'm sharing it along with everybody else. So I've gotten into this mindset by watching a group I call on um, so YouTubers, Run Guys, love them. They, they really changed my view on how it is I look at everything in the world. They do macro and microeconomics, talk about political news, what's going on around the world, how it is that everything is affecting us back home. So, for example, if China has a sub mortgage marketing crash, like if their real estate is going out the window, it's going to affect us here back at home. Maybe not instantly, but everything affects each other. I like to look at it as the butterfly flick, you know, but it's not time travel. Just because you stepped in the butterfly. Say you go back in time, you step on the butterfly, you know, go back in the future. Next thing you know, is World War Three going on, you know, like that butterfly could have saved the world and you didn't even know it. It's just a, a dumb little analogy, but something you can wrap your head around nonetheless. So the type of things that I will be talking about moving forward is things such as the S&P 500, which for those of you who don't know, the S&P 500 is a stock market index tracking the stock performance of 500 large companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States. So it's just the biggest companies that you can find out here. Apple can be an example of a Microsoft, you know, just big name companies. The NASDAQ, which is um, the National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotation Stock Market, NASDAQ for short is an American stock exchange based in New York City. It is ranked second on the list of stock exchanges by market capital sorry, cap capitalization. Can't even talk right now. Guess I got a little jitters being my first video and all, but you know, we're gonna move through it. We're gonna move through it. So for those of you who don't spend their time looking at graphs and things of the such, Trust me, yes, it is boring, but it's a lot of information you can learn from actually looking at these things. You got the dates and times down here below. You can go back in time. It's like, I believe it's back to like 1950 or something like that, just to see exactly where it is our country it came from and where it is that it's going. You can make predictions on that. It's a very, very, very nifty little thing here. The NASDAQ, like I said, and I do have a lot to talk about with this, as you can see. But we're going to move forward on this right here. Now, cryptocurrencies is the new wave that I believe everybody should hop on. I remember back in 2012, I was a freshman in high school. I mean, I, I knew about Bitcoin beforehand. You know, they had like a a memo coming out about a, a one world currency with the one world government and everything like that. I'm not really trying to get into a bunch of conspiracy theories with it, but I'm pretty sure everybody has at least came across that type of information. 
And if you ask me, like I said, I'm not trying to get too deep into it, but if you ask me, I, I believe a lot of it because there's so much evidence proven towards it. So much evidence. In fact, this year alone, for those of you who don't know, the U.S. government is already getting their hands dirty with cryptocurrencies. They're trying to make their own Federal Reserve currency right now. Coin, like, like it's going to be digital. Everything is moving digital. It's like For those of you who don't know, your life is going to be digitalized. But I'm very, very bullish on cryptocurrencies. I had a chance to make, like, I ain't going to say millions, but thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars back in, was it 2021? Back in 2020, when the whole COVID pandemic hit and everybody was just stuck at home, all the stimulus checks that people was getting, they were just pouring into the, the crypto market. And as you can see up here, like this is March 2020. This is when the crypto was at its lowest. That's when we got hit. And that's when they started doing the stimulus checks and everything. And people just flooded up the crypto market. And as you see, prices went crazy, crazy. It was like massive gains. It was, it was, it was just crazy. I, I can't really, like, here goes a story right here. There's a truck driver. He put $3 into a coin, Shiba Inu. Within a year, he walked out with $1.3 million. That's just how much money was flowing into this little market. I like cryptocurrencies. Like I said, I had an opportunity, but, you know, I wasn't financially educated on what was going on around the world macro. I was only focused on what was going on in the United States. And the United States wasn't heavily on crypto. You know, it, I think it was a study that came out about like, less than 15% of Americans actually knew anything about crypto. And it was like about 5% was actually invested into it. So it wasn't like they really wanted us to know this information. You know, why would they want us to get rich, you know? But another thing I want to show everybody moving forward, I'm going to constantly go back to this because this just blows my mind. This is a visualization of the money in the world. So every single block right here, it's a hundred billion dollars. You know, silver, the whole market cap of silver alone isn't even a hundred billion dollars. It's a smaller square is 43.9 billion. And this is a little bit outdated. I believe this was made in 2020. So the market cap of silver has grown. The market cap of cryptos have grown, but not that it's not so substantial. You know, it's only been two years. Now, here's cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin being the reading leader. Everybody knows about Bitcoin. If you're not invested into it, you at least heard it or heard somebody talking about it. It's been on the news before you heard it. It's been on the radio. Everybody knows about Bitcoin. Not too many people know about all the other coins right behind Bitcoin, which there are currently about 20,000 different coins. A lot of those are just zombie zombie coins like there's nothing going on with them they're just listed they're just there nobody's putting money into it nobody's taking money out they're not doing anything for the world utility wise like i said they're just there and i like to look at crypto kind of like how the the dot com boom was when you had stuff like everybody knows about myspace like myspace was out it was one of the biggest things but when the dot com had their crash a lot of companies couldn't hold like you know they couldn't tread water when when the winter came because like these markets do have different seasons like you look at the bottom as being winter this will be your spring right here right when you're starting to come up it's spring then it's summer everybody's outside everybody's enjoying life and then it falls boom just falls then it's winter again completely like you know just moving sideways down at the bottom I don't know if y'all can hear that. My girl's going crazy in the room right now. She goes playing games. <laughs> Only if y'all can hear that. It is hilarious to me. But back to this, how much money is into the world right now? This is cryptocurrencies. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows about all the millionaires that's been made out of cryptocurrencies. Tons of them. I just gave you a story about a guy putting $3 into the markets and coming out being a millionaire. It's ridiculous. But if you move down and you just see like the military spending crazy it's like it's crazy compared compare all this stuff to crypto and as you go down everything gets larger every single time 
every single time. Billionaires, the market cap of gold. This is the Fortune 500 companies that's in the S S and P. Like I said, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook. It took over MySpace. They knocked them out the ring. The stock market, like it, it goes on and on and on and on. This is ridiculous. Look at this. This is crazy how much money is out here in this world. Trillions. Like in this one quadrant alone is estimated to be one quadrillion. That's a thousand trillion dollars. It's the high end estimate, low end. Um, what, what is that? The low end was like almost almost 600 trillion. And like I said, this is outdated two years ago. So best believe that these numbers have risen. And there's no denying that they have. This just shows how much money is getting printed into circulation right now into our government. We can go all the way back to right here, 2008 crash, boom. Markets fell. Everybody who was alive, I'm pretty sure everybody listening to this was, understand just how crazy the 2008 crash was. Where if you was like me, I seen my parents going through a lot of crazy little situations. I was glad that I didn't have to deal with bills at that time, you know? Just get like, it, I don't even want to go back on that, my personal experiences with it, because it sucked. <laughs> it sucked. But it was almost a 60% fall from where we was. And to bail everybody out, the banks did nothing but print and print and print money until we had a crash. Everything has to get recorrect, like go through a correction because once you just print a lot of money and put it into the markets, like a house shouldn't be no $400,000 minimum to buy a house. You have to have a correction on that. Like that's way too much for a, a single family home, two bedrooms, one bathroom for you to actually buy the house, not rent it, but to actually buy it on average in America, $400,000 needs a correction this is during COVID right here that's when like see look another thing about conspiracy theories like I said I love thinking outside the box of what's really going on me personally I think we just got locked into the house because they didn't want us to realize just how bad things were you know like everything around the globe was shutting down even still today we're still feeling the effects of it nobody's traveling no more it's it's really crazy but Boom, almost a 40% drop from COVID. And then instantly with all the stimulus checks and, and the bailouts that the banks was doing, it just put way more money into the market. Boom. And it was actually estimated that this time period from 2020 up until 2022, they printed more money within this one time period. Look how massive of a jump that is. Like It was a crazy fall, but even more massive jump. They printed more money within this time period than the whole first 200 years of America being into existence. Like I said, this is just an intro. So I can get down and dirty and find all the information and actually prove everything I'm saying, and I will do so. But I just want you guys to have a basic understanding of what it is that I'm trying to relate to you. What's the message I'm trying to relate to you guys? With all this money that's in the world, that's getting printed into the world, and cryptocurrencies being the baby of it all, where do you think the money's going to go to? Honestly, where do you think the money is going to go to? Like, it's so much money into the stock markets and stuff right now. It's over $100 trillion into the stock markets. How much more money can get put into the stock markets so it can have a, a, a massive growth? A lot. <laughs> Just for the stock market to get a two times X on a lot of people's money, you need hundreds of billions of dollars moved into your, that single stock. Like, if you, let's go down back, uh, Apple. Let's say you own some Apple stocks. Look, look at this. It's crazy. What was that like a trillion dollars? It's a, a thousand three hundred and forty nine billion <laughs> a trillion dollars in Apple, pretty much. For you to own Apple stock, if you want to get like actually get some returns off that to double your money, say you put a hundred dollars in Apple and you can't wait for it to hit two hundred. It's on the low end, by the way. Like most people put in millions of dollars into the stock market. There's a whole reason they have a crazy amount of money in it flowing, but you'll need a whole nother trillion dollars on top of it just for you to double your money. That's crazy. Meanwhile, Bitcoin alone is only like, like right now when we go to Bitcoin, the whole market cap 
Now, this doesn't show the market cap, but off the top of my head, I believe it's like half a trillion. It's like 300 to 400 billion dollars at the moment. That's how much money needs to flow into Bitcoin to double it. That's nothing. There's nothing once you see all of these blocks and how much money is really just out here in the world. I'm not going into detail on what's what with these blocks. We can do that another day. But it's a lot of money out here in the world. Just the billionaires by themselves. It's $8 trillion. And that's just the top billionaires. It's not even like everybody. Like I said, this is outdated. Billionaires have been made with crypto already. So there's way more money in the billionaire category than it was two years ago. I'm so bullish on this because I don't trust my dollar. For anybody who understands deflation, you'll know that it does nothing but devalues your dollar. Think of it like this. If, if the very first dollar that came out, only one person in the world had it, that dollar was considered rare. The first person who ever found a diamond, that diamond was the rarest thing in the world. Like That was the richest man on the planet because he was the only one who held a diamond in his hand, you know? Now, if you throw 100 billion diamonds into circulation, that diamond isn't that special no more because there's so many more just like it. And when you're dealing with actual paper money, fiat currencies, when they're just constantly printing trillions, like I said, they printed more than the first 200 years of America being into existence within two years. Your dollar crashed like crazy, crashed. It, it, it's ridiculous. Wow. And this right here is telling you from 1913 all the way up to 2022, $1, if you bought an item for $1 back in 1913, that same item is worth almost $30 today. That's 2,891.6% of your money lost in a sense because the items go up. See, the thing that they trick you with, they're not going to, like, like a lamp, for example. You know, if you buy a lamp, it's going to be $10. Then the next year, it could be $5. The money value in your bank account is going to stay the same because it's a psychological game. Say if I had $100 in my bank account, yeah, I can buy that lamp. Cool. Let me, let me dial it back. I have $20. I can buy that lamp. It's only half of my money, $10. Cool. Another year go by, I still have $100 in my bank account. But now that lamp is called worth, I mean, $20. But now that lamp is worth $15, you know? This is leaving me with $5 left. You know, the year prior, I would have been left with $10. So over time, your money loses value. You buy less and less and less things as time goes to make it a little bit more simple for you. Let's do it like this. It's way easier to see it with bigger numbers, how much money you lose. From the year 2000 to 2022, just 22 years of a difference. If you had 10,000 in your bank account, that, that you no, know, if you bought an item that was worth $10,000, now it's worth $17,000. You know, this added on a whole 72% on top of how much it was worth. That means you need a whole nother $10,000 just to buy it and be satisfied with having some left over. You know, it's crazy. It's almost 100% gains on the item itself meaning that your dollar almost lost 100% of its value within only 20 years, 22 years to be exact. Saving your money in the bank account, and I tried telling a lot of friends this, nobody ever wants to listen because we're not taught this in school. You're always taught in personal finance to save your money. That way you can use it to do things that you want to do in life later on down the line. Well, this right here shows you you save your money you're losing every penny saved is a penny lost there's no point in you saving money at all <laughs> like that's the one thing i would never do is save my money granted yeah you should have a bag put to the side for yourself just i do that just so i can invest just so i can put it into certain projects invest into my own business i'm not about to save money for no rainy day because when that rainy day comes it could be five years down the line i done lost money regardless and with the rate that everything is going right now let's see this is a forward flat rate inflation calculator saying like uh right here it says inflation rates right now is 8.3 percent this was right now 8.3 percent that's how much money that you're losing 8.3 percent of every dollar so 
and put it at a thousand. Boom. With an inflation rate of 8.3, just like it says, after, let's just say, two years. It'll calculate your thousand dollars with an average inflation rate. The same person can power as eleven hundred and seventy-two dollars. So just like how I showed you right here, boom, that same item that was worth ten thousand is now worth seventeen thousand. In the future, it's just it's just gonna be the exact same thing. The item that was worth a thousand is now worth eleven hundred and seventy-two dollars. So what happened to you saving your money? Pointless. Pointless. That's pretty much the basics of the financial education I'm trying to bring to everybody out here. Because like I said, nobody is taught any of this. I learned a lot of my information from mentors that I've been constantly, constantly dialing in on, getting information from. They've been referring me to great books, great reads that's been changing my viewpoint on everything and i don't want to do nothing but turn around and relay all that information to everybody else i go around and i ask people simple questions such as would you rather have a i don't know twenty thousand dollars right now or would you rather have a bitcoin some people say twenty thousand dollars you know most people say twenty thousand dollars i probably only had two people tell me they don't have a bitcoin and i ask like what would you do with it oh man i'm going on vacation i'm gonna go do this i give something to my mom's and i'm gonna say the rest <laughs> Instantly, the first thing that comes to my mind is all that 20000 is wasted. Wasted. Like I said, I'm bullish on crypto. Because if you look, crypto markets has been doing nothing but going up. Like even if you zoom in a lot more, which makes it way more crazy when you realize the, the gains that get made in crypto. This went like 2012. This is 2013. It came out in 2009. It went online in, back in 2010, if I'm not mistaken. But most graphs only go back to like 2012. Massive gains right here alone. If you were just to measure from the beginning, you would have had a 13 times multiplier to your money instantly. 1369.63% increase to your money. Of course, just move your decimal place over to the left two times and you'll see the actual multiplier, 13 point six nine times multiplier so a thousand dollars get turned into thirteen thousand dollars almost fourteen thousand dollars that's just if you was to invest back then and after that you know if you want to calculate all the runs that bitcoin's been doing it's crazy how much money people have been making in this in this industry and it's not just bitcoin there's a lot of coins out here that you can invest into for example this is like one of the massive runs they had it was a 50 times multipliers of people money and that's not even at the bottom i'm just measuring just measuring it's not even at the bottom so what do you think from here to here it's actually projected that bitcoin can reach up to a hundred thousand dollars by 2025 and that's coming from billionaires multi-billionaires many millionaires like there's people who actually are involved into the market, you know. But like I said, this is stuff that we're all going to cover as time goes by. I just want to open the eyes up to all the viewers who are coming to my channel and have a great understanding of what it is I'm trying to portray when I'm saying that your dollar saved is a dollar loss. I don't want the American people to just be in a loss. You know, ignorance is not bliss. Having information and knowing this information is actually key for you making yourself financially free and breaking out of the system that they put you in. Nobody wants to be a slave, but little do you know, back when they did liberate the slaves out of America, they just changed the name from slave to employee. So as long as you're working for somebody, you're a slave to somebody. Back in the day, the slaves got free house, free food, you know, free medical attention, dot 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 nowadays you just got to pay for all of it so they're paying you to work instead of you working for free and you getting everything else for free now they're paying you to work but you got to pay for everything you do in life there's nothing but a, you know 
like I said, ignorance is not bliss. Learn this information or else you're going to get left in the dust. I'm telling you, moving forward, it's going to be even crazier. Crypto is brand new to this world. Bitcoin's only been out for a decade. Since 2012, all the way up to 2022, just a decade. And the government is just now starting to regulate it to where multi-billionaires, people who can just move trillions of dollars into the this economy right here. Like, that. Like, like I said, going back to this right here, billionaires, all the billionaires have more money than crypto, have more money than, like, one billionaire can probably buy all of Bitcoins, all the Bitcoins out here. He has enough money to buy all the Bitcoins. But they're not because it's not regulated. It's not safe. Government is making it safe. They're about to pour money into this. So you might as well ride the wave. So if you look at it, the word currency, it's the current of the sea. You know, all boats ride the wave together. So let's say they put money into Bitcoin. Boom. Any other coins, for those you don't know, there's, like I said earlier, there's a lot of coins. Other than Bitcoins, there's currently 21,000 different coins out here. The top two being Bitcoin and Ethereum. But as you can see, whatever Bitcoin does at the top, since it is number one, everything else pretty much does. If Bitcoin is red, everything else is red and going down. That's just how it is. The days that Bitcoin go up, everything else goes up. I can even give you an example of this. This is all the way down to a, a random one, Sandbox. This is a random one right here. I'm going to go to like uh, their candle charts. I'm just going to I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. Whatever Bitcoin does, everything else does. And the massive gains that you can get out of it. This is back in October 2021. Sandbox was down and all the way up until November 2021. That's when it reached its top. Sandbox. Well, let's see. What kind of gains was this? It goes from the bottom, bottom. 50 times multiplier to your money. Boom. Simple. 50 times multiplier to your money. No stock exchange that I know of is actually doing that. None of the large major ones that people like to put money into just because they're the big dogs, you know? Just because they're the, the big dogs, I mean, it's the smartest play. But if you go back right here, where's 2021? This is when Bitcoin is right here, down here, 2021. Boom. It rose. Everything else rose with it. It's as simple as that. And with Bitcoin, it didn't even do that big of a gain. Nah, not at all. It's 120% gains. It is what, doubled your money? And then some? Like $100 get turned into $223? That's cool. Perfectly fine. Going to a smaller cap, you know, you can get a lot more money moved into it. It's like I said, Bitcoin itself is like three, four hundred billion dollars. When you look at different projects that's out here, this one's just two billion. Two billion. So another two billion dollars put into that is nothing for one billionaire. You know, this this money they use to, to get out of I don't know, court calls. <laughs> like I say, they get sued and they gotta pay a fine of a couple billion dollars. That's nothing to them. They have hundreds of billions of dollars. That's nothing. Two billion is nothing. But a person with $100, if you get charged $2 for something, that's nothing, you know? So they can put that in there and boom, raise your stuff up crazy. But like I said, that was just one example. There's many examples. If I was to go through all of these charts, every single last one of these charts will have the exact same example. Don't matter which one I go to. I already done it. I don't feel like doing it for you guys. You should do your own due diligence. But also, don't copy what it is I'm saying. I mean, yes, listen. It's good to not be ignorant and to actually have a little, a little ground, a grounded information about what's going on in the world. Because like I said, like every government around the world is moving towards crypto right now. Blockchain technology. That's what every government is moving towards. Our financial system sucks. Everybody's just printing money left and right. And it ruins us because it devalues your money everything in your day-to-day -day life goes up. So to change that, we're just moving over to blockchain technology. It's way more efficient. 
way more efficient. And you don't want to get left behind. You don't want to be in a Zimbabwe situation where you're just walking around with tubs full of money and they're not worth anything. Like I seen a picture with a kid with like a red wagon dragging behind him. He had trillions of dollars. They was worth less than a penny. The government just printed so damn much that it like it was just worthless. Like what's a dollar? Everybody has that, <laughs> you know? But like I said, don't listen to what I'm saying. I'm not no financial advisor or anything. So don't copy anything that I'm doing. If I was to ever talk about any trades that I get myself into, don't copy me. That's my risk. Do your own due diligence. Research this yourself. But that is my risk. If you want to follow along with my risk, hey, that's up to you. But don't blame me if I lose money, you know, because I'm perfectly prepared to lose whatever it is I put into these markets. I don't put anything into these markets unless I'm willing to lose it anyways. I'm not telling you to go sell your PlayStation and, and just hop into Cardano, Solana, Dogecoin. What would be the point? What would be the point, Shiba Inu? No, that's not the point. In fact, from my mentors, I'll go ahead and let you guys know this right now. My goal personally is to build up my own brand, my own business. Build that up. And then use all that money to feed into my investments. Not the money I work hard for. I got to pay bills. I got to pay rent. I got to get my, my people in here food. You know, I got to keep the lights on. Why would I use that money and throw it into the market? Because if I need that money, if something was to come up, I got to instantly pull it right back out the market. There's no telling if the market went down or up that day. But the long term, yeah, it goes up. It goes up. I don't care about none of these like small down like look at this this right here is like what a 40 percent drop that was a 20 percent drop it's cool 100 dollars get turned into 80 dollars yeah you might be sad all you gotta do is what put 20 dollars in there turn it back into 100 and, and just gain dollar cost average on the way down but long term yeah it goes up you go to bitcoin long, long terms yeah it goes up all the printing of money that happens in this world yeah it goes up no doubt about it. But, hey, I appreciate everybody from sticking from the beginning to the end. Hopefully that y'all had learned a little something. I'm still learning as I go. Like I said, it's my first YouTube video. It's only going to get better from here. I'm only going to have way better information to share with everybody. Some of it might be regurgitated. That's only for the newer viewers that's getting in. But nonetheless, I appreciate everybody. Much love to everybody out here, man. Thank you.